I just got off the seller sizer and I wanted to make a video because I was watching David Hall who actually created the seller sizer and he was talking about, uh, he was reading reviews of, of, of people who had written in like testimonials and stuff like that. And one of the ones that he was talking about was this, these parents who are really uh, happy about getting a seller sizer for their child for either Christmas or uh, I don't know what it was, maybe birthday or something like that. I didn't hear that part, but he was, talk he was talking about this. These parents were extremely excited. Their kid had lost, lost 50 pounds and uh, he, he uses it every day. And I'm thinking back to myself, I really wish, and it was around actually when I, I was you know in my teens, I really wish this is something that I knew about back then because it, I, it would have it would have changed my life quite a bit. I actually probably would have rather have done this and actually go to the gym. Now I'm not saying you can't go to the gym if you, if you've got kids and, and and they love going to the gym or if you're if you're yourself or whatever. I'm not saying you can't go to the gym. I'm not saying you can't still walk. I'm not saying you can't still ride bike. I'm not saying you can't like hike or whatever it is, a kayak whatever it is that you like to do. And one of the reasons, actually the only reason that I thought about seller sizing or rebounding as it were, was because of somebody who was a very famous weightlifter back in the day named Mike Menzer. I was reading his book. Man, it was a run on sentence there. I was reading his book and uh, I forget which one it was, but he was talking, I think it was uh, Heavy Duty 2, which unfortunately I sold. I'm really irritated that I sold that. But in that book, he was talking about, he actually would bring in his own trampoline, mini trampoline to sessions that he was training people with. And, and especially like uh, squat day, uh, squats or leg press, or it really didn't matter, I don't think, even like overhead press. He would have people bounce on this rebounder, I think it was for 30 to 60 seconds in between sets. Now he's one of these people that, well, I'm not gonna get into that, but he would have people bounce in on this thing for like 30 to 60 seconds in between sets. And that's actually the reason I got mine, because I was like, man, I remember, I, I didn't do it initially, I did it in 2009 and I'm like, I was kind of getting stagnant with my lifting. I, I wasn't lifting as much as I, I was in my earlier 20s. I, I was, you know, I just didn't care that much. But I'm like, I, you know, like I was, I, I think I was deadlifting in the 400s at that point and, and squatting in the similar uh, um, weight range. And I'm like, you know, I, I, I'm having, you know, the, the recovery, I wanted, to, I wanted to try something up. And I, sure enough, I tried this, this mini rebounder and it really helped. So I'm not saying that you can't add this to other sports. I've done it before cycling before and it warms up the legs. Like I'll do just 10 minutes of light cellar sizing for me. And uh, you know, before I get too farther, too much farther in this, I do have an affiliate link, go check it out. I, I make a little commission. You don't want to do that. It's, it's really not a big deal, but I did want to get this message out there. No matter which one you have, I, I, you know, I might talk about what, the ones that I've tried at the end of this video. Uh, just give a little bit of a summary, but I've done it before cellar si or uh, before cycling. I've done it before hiking. I've done it before just going on a long walk, and it really helps because you're already warmed up before whatever activity that you are doing. Now, he does say to do it before doing yoga. I did not like it before yoga, but I did like it after yoga. So try it out. Some people, you know, everybody's different with with that, you know, whole world see what see which one you like but i didn't like it that much before yoga i don't know why i stopped doing yoga a long time ago because it started becoming like a competition with myself to see how much further into a position i could get and it ended up just getting it was just ridiculous so i'm like you know what i gotta walk away it was the same thing with weightlifting it became an obsession and I had to walk away. So when things become an obsessions like that and it takes over your life, I, I walk away from them. And that's one beautiful thing that I found about the seller sizer. Like I like doing it, but it's not like, it's not like I'm trying to like bounce more than I did the day before or anything like that. I just get on it and it, it's wonderful. Like I, it's not like this competition with myself, which is a wonderful thing. Another thing that I have used it for is like hill sprint, hill sprints. That really helps. Uh, you can actually really like because you're you're kind of going into the mat a little bit you really can kind of emulate a hill sprint on it and it really is amazing i'm going to talk a little bit about my history with it um I, I didn't really plan on doing this but i figured while i'm making this video why not so as i said i got it in 2009 i was weightlifting at that time i didn't really use it for anything other than 
recovering from weightlifting. That was, that was all I really used it for. 2010, I really started having issues with weight and I was getting very overweight. And then it basically, 2010 was the year that I got over 400 pounds and I didn't use it then. One of the things that I used, if, uh, used to kind of lose some of the weight, I don't want to go into my whole story here. If you want to see my story, I've talked plenty about it on my uh, channel. But one of the things that I used initially to lose weight was yoga because technically I was over the limit for every <laughs> rebounder out there other than the Belicon. So I, but at that time I had a cheap one. It broke on me because it was too, uh, too heavy. I did buy an urban rebounder. I liked it. I was at its weight limit at that point, which was whatever, like 350 pounds. I'm not going to talk about the yoga at all, but just to, suffice it to say that yoga was my kind of entry into losing weight and my diet. Um, I liked it, but it was kind of a jarring. Now this uh, take, take in mind that I, how, how much I weighed at that time. It was jarring and one time I, I came bouncing down and one spring came off, it snapped, it went flying and it almost hit my cat, which <clears throat> I had to do uh, you know, damage control after that. Um, and then all of the other ones just flew off. It was like a grenade went off in my living room. It was insane. So that is when I got a Belicon and I, I found out that Belicon technically, I I think it's like over 500 pound weight limit. It's, it's higher than a lot of the other ones. I got a Bellicon thinking I was gonna love this thing. I kept like researching it, I kept looking into it. I was so excited. I remember the day that it arrived. I was elated, only to find out I hated it. Hate it. But I'm like, all right, I'll grow into this thing. I, I'll love it, you know. It never happened. It never, I hated that damn thing. Uh, my girlfriend at the time, loved it so I, I just gave it to her um if you're a heavy individual if you're somebody who has flat feet if you're somebody who has weak knees i it's not for you it's not for you and i'm not the only one saying this i started looking into it because the mat is so soft and the bungees are so soft you're if you don't have strong arches your feet just kind of like fold in and come to a point and then your knees hit it's it's terrible. Ironically, my good foot hated it and my bad foot loved it. I'm like, this has never happened in my life. And yes, I have completely different feet. It's crazy. Never happened to me in my life. My, my good foot never hurts for anything, ever. Knock on wood. And then I get on this Bellicon. It was Charlie horsing like crazy. It was nuts. And the, my knees, it was, it, was, it, was, it was nuts. I bottomed out on it twice the second time i bought on, out on it i actually went through the mat and hit the floor so hard and i was in an apartment at that time the person below me actually ran up my stairs and she's like uh are you all right <laughs> like because i hit the, the 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 floor so hard that i actually cracked the plaster in her ceiling so that was nuts and so i i sent a picture of this to bellicon and of course they like next day uh, a new mat to me and I was an early adopter of the Bellicon and the mat that I got from them and the mat that I had didn't even look at all similar. So I'm like, did I get like a test mat? Like, I mean, the, the quality and of the stitching, the quality of everything of the second mat. Now, I don't know if they've got different variations or whatever, but the quality of the second one was light years. It's like this cheap little Chinese paper mat compared to like this deluxe like, so there was a difference and actually there was a difference in the bounce and everything. My knees, my feet and everything weren't coming in as much, but I still bottomed that one out. It, you know, it didn't, it didn't break. And so I'm like, this is ridiculous. I'm hurting my knees, I'm hurting my feet. And that's when I looked into the seller sizer. I got it in 2013 or 2014. I actually still have the email from, from them because it was like one of my best purchases ever. Now, if you're, if you did check out the link or you do check out the link, this is going to make you a little jealous. I got it for $399.99. It's definitely not $399.99 anymore, but I've had it all that time. I've only had one thing go wrong with it. The spring broke on it, and that was because I landed on the spring. And he, he has said many times that if you land on the spring, chances are because of the, the torsion or whatever, it might pop it, and it did. But he sends you two, uh, two with the seller sizer, so it wasn't really a big deal. But anyways, I was still way overweight. 
uh, when I got the seller sizer and it has helped me through all of this. So at the end of this video here, I, I wish that I had known about this when I was younger and I, that's why I'm making this video. And not that I'm terribly old or anything, but like when I was like in my lifting days, probably wouldn't have stopped lifting, but it really would have helped me lose, keep trim. Especially if I knew like that protein, protein, protein wasn't, wasn't a great thing. Like I, I used to do like two, two and a half, three grams of protein per, per, uh, per pound. I forget what it was. It was a ridiculous amount. I wonder why in 2010, my kidneys and my liver shut down. I, I, I probably wouldn't have stopped lifting and I'm not suggesting that you stop lifting, but I am suggesting the more limber, the more flexible, the more agile you are when you lift, the actually stronger you're going to get and the less likely to injury you're going to be. Um, just food for thought. Um, and, it, and this applies to anybody. I don't care if you're like, you know, 15 or if you're 65, it really doesn't matter. If you are more uh, agile, not fragile, if you're more you know, flexible and you got better blood flowing and everything like that, your lifts are gonna be way better, just way better. Because I actually, this is why I got into it, I saw it, I saw it myself. My lifts were going up and I was anal about keeping track of that stuff, it's ironic. I just, in my gym bag, I, I hadn't opened it in forever and I found another five five notebooks of my lifts in there because I, I was, it was, it was, it was absurd. I'm not type A at all, except for when I was lifting, man, I was so type A with lifting. So anyway, I kept it and I kept notes of like, uh, you know, rebounding and how it helped my, my lifting. That's it. Any, this one I might have questions with. Ask me any questions. I've had these things for 15, yeah, 15 years now. Um, I've, I've, been on almost every variation of mini rebounder. Ironically, I've never been on like one of the big ones out in the yard or anything like that. But anyway, that's uh, my video. I just got off the seller sizer and I'm like, I gotta make this video. Anyway, comments, questions down below, like, subscribe. Peace, talk to you in the next video.